When I think about listening to God, um, one of the key scriptures that jumps out for me personally is, is Acts 8. And in Acts 8, we, have, uh, we learn a little bit about the ministry of Philip. And um, Philip is, is, is very much used of God to share the good news. And, um, and people are healed. All kinds of wonderful things are happening through the Spirit of God. So very much when we, when we think about listening to God, the Spirit of God is always involved. The Spirit of God is the one who prompts us, uh, the one that we seek to follow after. Um, ultimately, God is the one that has a plan for our life. He's given us unique gifts and strengths. And the people and circumstances that we find in our life are really there on, for a purpose. Um, so we really need to listen and to follow his voice. And, and you know, sometimes as we live our life and we're very busy, it, we almost, uh, we go along and we wish that God would speak to us, but uh, we're not really uh, keenly aware of, of his voice in our life. Or those, those small voices inside where, where the Holy Spirit says, I want you to stop and I want you to listen. And sometimes things are going so well, we, we maybe say, boy, we must be in the very center of God's will, uh, doing all kinds of activity and programs, but God may wish to speak to us. He may wish to stop us in our tracks and saying, look, you're missing an open door. There's something I want you to do. And I, in fact, I don't want you to do it tomorrow. And I don't need a lot of plans for the future, but I want you to listen to me now. So I can just imagine being, being in the situation of Philip. Here is Philip having a, what we'd say, a very effective ministry. And, and not only is he effective, but he's seeing the outcomes of how God is using him. And the Holy Spirit is moving in the lives of other people because the message of Jesus is being shared through him. But Philip was also aware that sometimes God taps us on the shoulders and say, you know, even though you're involved in all this good activity, I want you to come aside for a while. I want you to go in a different direction. And for Philip, it was, Philip, I want you to go south. I want you to leave what seems to be really good stuff going on, and I want you to go south, and I just want you to watch, because I'm going to show you some things. So, to be honest with you, there wasn't a lot of fanfare. It was just simply God prompting and saying to Philip, I want you to go in a different direction. So Philip, not knowing what's next, goes south, and there he watches and he sees a, he sees a man reading scripture. This is not a crowd, it's not a stadium, it's not a church building. It's a person by themselves reading the scripture and not understanding. Isn't that an interesting picture? Very simple, but yet very profound because uh, Philip goes up and comes closer. And, and, uh, and of course, the, the eunuch, as we know him in scripture, says, I'm not sure. I don't understand this passage. And Philip has the opportunity to share with him the good message of Jesus. And then from there, we, we understand that this uh, eunuch uh, accepts Jesus as Lord and, and actually is, is baptized. And we don't know the story after that. We don't know what happened with the eunuch, but who knows what, how God used that particular instance to, to send the gospel in a brand new direction. So we may think sometimes that uh, we don't have a lot of gifts or strengths. But God may take some of the very small things in our life and he may just want to speak to us. So, so today as you, as you watch this video and you look at the e-books that follow, I want you to take time to say, what is God giving me? What are they, how is he tapping me on the shoulder? Are there things where he wants to direct me? Are there people in my pathway where perhaps I need to first watch and see what God's hand's doing? And then with a very simple ease, move towards that person and have opportunity to share the gospel. God will give us the words, but we need to follow and listen to His Spirit, even those small, still voices that we hear inside.